two hidden weapons that got added in Calamity 1.4 update. Throughout the Calamity mod 1.4 port has been released, but everyone's been focusing on the big parts like journey mode compatibility, that revenge against the file for the worthy testicular cancer master mode, and those bigger stuffs. That people forgot, Calamity also added two new amazing weapons, Adamantai Particle Accelerator and the Milestorm. But before we start the video, a word from our sponsor. Yes, we got a sponsor. Finally, I can eat real food. World of Warships. It's a free-to-play game and available for PC. Witness the new phenomenal graphics with more than 40 unique maps with beautiful and detailed visual. With new content released every month and multiple ship classes to choose from, you will never be bored. Conquer the oceans, battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, or cruisers. And if the depths call to you, dive in with the submarines. You can play solo or multiplayer with your friends. It's not just a game, it's a beautiful breathtaking visual museum recreation. Wait, you play on consoles? Good for you, because this game is also available on consoles. Download World of Warships now using the first link in the description. And register to the game through the link given below to enjoy a huge starter pack. And during the registration, use code FIRE to get free epic rewards. Like free 200 doubloons, a premium battleship, 1 million credits, and 7 days of premium account. Thanks World of Warships for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. Adamantite Particle Accelerator is a ranged weapon. Its counterpart is the Titanium Railgun, a weapon that got reworked in the 1.4 update. Now you have to charge the gun, and it recoils, which made it way way more cooler and unique. Like Titanium to Adamantite, it is equally as awesome, but in this video, we're gonna discuss the new Adamantite one. When used, it fires a thick pink laser beam, shortly followed by a thick blue laser beam. When an enemy is struck by the beam, it will apply a 20% damage increase to the next hit with a beam of the opposite color. It is craftable using Adamantite and Source of Night and Light. So yeah, it's actually pretty easy and efficient too to craft. Perfect for lazy people like me. And you, get out from bed now. Go take a shower, touch grass. It is really good to use against the mechanical bosses and planchera, and even golem due to its piercing beams. Pretty neat, I really love how this weapon works. It is simple yet feels amazing to use. It also looks really cool and slick, almost like an Iron Man weapon. Noise. And let's not forget about the sound effect. Ah, it sounds so good. Hey there, this is me, post recording. I just realized that this Adamantite craft cheese generator is apparently really, really balanced against warm bosses. Like, for example, the destroyer. Look at me running in a straight line while obliterating Aquatic Scorch. Don't worry, I'm just doing him a favor. Truly a perfectly balanced weapon. It definitely does not shred warm bosses at all. Ah, uh, yes, the Milestorm Bow. When you use it, it slowly and accurately fires a charged Deadly Reaper Shark. Upon contact with enemies or solid tiles, the shark bursts into visual gores and a damaging water explosion. So basically, a bow that shoots deadly sharks. Pretty neat. I think Calamity is trying to hint us that this bow is supposed to be used against the Four of Gods. Because all of its crafting materials are obtainable before the Four of Gods. The Storm Bow from Storm Weaver Boss. Reaper Tooth from of course Reaper Sharks in the Abyss. Divine Jot from the Providence Boss. And Fola, the Milestorm. A bit harder to craft than the Adamantite Craft Cheese Accelerator. I like this weapon, the sprite looks good, but I think Calamity should add a charging bow mechanic for this bow. Because it looks kinda wonky and a bit too big, but regardless, it is a good bow. Before we end the video, I just wanna mention a simple small thing like your balls. I just noticed, why is Stratosphere removed in the recent Calamity update? Stratosphere was a magic weapon that shoots a massive planetary stratus orb. I don't think its weapon blowed, because it looks really cool. Many people loved using this weapon. So yeah, I'm really confused on why it's removed. Although, since it can only shoot few orbs at a time, it was best used as a side weapon. So, in a way, it kinda feels like a summoner weapon. I don't want to make a video specifically to complain about the removal of Stratosphere because there are more good things that came than bad things in the Calamity 1.4 port update. But I just had to mention it because I'm pretty confused. Look, I'm not mad. I'm just confused and probably a bit disappointed. 